Hey, my name is Phil and welcome to the system.io tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we're going to be creating a sales funnel from scratch. It's going to be a very fast paced, but step by step tutorial. So make sure you follow it through from start to finish. And by the end of it, you will have a fully working sales funnel. Now, just a little bit of extra bonus. If you haven't yet got started with system.io and you're thinking about it, I've actually created an entire course that I'm going to be giving to people that decide to join system.io using my referral link in the description. So if you want to get the free course, um, you can find it inside of there. I'm also constantly adding uh, share templates and funnels that you can actually download into your account so make sure you get it so let's get stuck into today's training so what you want to do is first of all log into your dashboard it should look like this um, hopefully the interface doesn't too, just change too much over time so it should look exactly the same now the next step you want to do is come to funnels at the top and click on it like so and then it's going to open this page here now here are some different types of funnels i've created as um, test funnels as this is my test account but basically what you want to do is come to the top right and click on create okay once that opens up you want to name your new sales funnel so let's just say this was an ebook um, opt-in you would call it what your ebook was so let's just say it was a youtube ebook opt-in right something like that that you can actually remember what it's about i like to just keep it really simple like this and if it's a list building sort of funnel you can create an audience uh, use the build an audience tab if you're trying to sell a product or course you can use the sell tab if you'd prefer to create it from scratch um, you can use the custom one if you like and then if you are trying to run an evergreen webinar you can also do so here now in the settings tab if you haven't yet set it if you are selling products you can actually choose your currency mine's currently set to us dollar but you can do that inside of your settings tab so for this example i'm going to build an audience and click on create right now it's only going to take a few moments as you see and now we have got the bare bones of our funnel so here we have two parts which is the squeeze page and the opt-in thank you page right so the first step we need to do is create our squeeze page now i recommend you start using one of the templates that are already here there are many different ones here just look for the basic layout that you would like to have and then you can change all the colors the designs the text everything a little bit later so i'm just going to scroll down and look for something that i like the look of i like this one here this looks really nice so i'm going to click on select you can also preview them if you wish if you'd like to pause the video now so you can find a template that you like do so if you want to carry on let's keep going so i'm going to click on select and as you can see, it has brought us to this page here, which is our naming page. So let's just say uh, if this was the YouTube opt-in ebook that I was using, I would call this the YouTube ebook opt-in, just like the whole funnel was titled. And over here in the URL path, which is what people are going to be typing in or clicking on, I'm going to just put in here YouTube ebook like so. Okay. Then once you've chosen that, you want to click on save. And then once it's saved, as you can see at the top right it is, we want to go ahead and edit it, okay? So go ahead and click on this little magic wand here, and that's going to open the editor for you. Right, so this is now open. What we can actually do in here is start going through and editing things to suit our brand, to suit our page or our purpose for actually creating this. So just to let you know a few little navigational things, at the bottom here we have got the mobile and desktop views. So if you wanted to see what the mobile view looked like after you've edited the desktop view, you simply click on the mobile and then all the settings will change to do the mobile uh, adjustments, right? So to go back to desktop, click on the desktop, if you wanted to add in more sections, let's just say I wanted to add in a four column section, you could just uh, click on the four column, drag it into the middle or whereabouts you want it to go. And wherever it has the darker blue line is where it will drop like so, right? Then once you have that there, let's just say I wanted to drop in four images. I can just simply click on the uh, image element over here and drag it in and then it's asking you to drop in your images or your current images that are here um, as you can see here's my course let's just say i'll use this one um, so that's cool what i'm actually going to do is duplicate it just to show you the duplicate feature and you can drag it onto the sides so you can see how easy it is to actually put in um, different rows different columns different sections let's just say i wanted to use a three at the top i could do the same thing here right just drag them in very easy to use and then let's just say we wanted to add a little bit more spacing between these elements, right? Um, I'm just going to delete this section like so. 
let's just say I wanted to put a bit of space in between here. What you can actually do is click on either the top or the bottom element, whichever one. I've chosen the top, so what I want to do is give more margin to the bottom or more padding, right? So I can just drag this out, and as you can see, it's giving it more gap. Same thing for the top, you know, you can drag it out, it's going to give more gap. And if you wanted to use padding, same thing again, drag it out, drag it out. So the difference between padding and margin, uh, margin is your container, it's actually the, the outside container width, padding is the inside of the container width. So if I click on hover over here, you can see the row. So if I was to use margin, margin would be the outside of the blue. If I was to use padding, it would be the inside, just to give you a bit of an idea of how that works. Okay, let's just say I wanted to replace an image. Let's, all you need to do is literally click on the image you want to replace. Click on the little cloud here and you can either drop uh, one of your images or click on this button to find it on your computer or else you can see your library of images inside here. Really easy to do. Let's just say you wanted to change the text. All you need to do is highlight the text you want to change um, and you have your font size here. You can make it bigger or smaller like so. Uh, you've also got your different types of fonts on the left as well as your text color as well as your background color, right? So those are the main ones you'll want to use, um, which is really cool as well. And apart from that, you're pretty much good to go. All you want to do before you go forward is click on this button here, right? And once you get the button, you've got to think about what you actually want to do next. If you just want this to be an opt-in form, then redirect to your website. What you want to do is click on to a custom URL here on the left, and you want to put in your website link. If you are wanting to go to the next step in the funnel, what you want to do is click on to the next step. And then once you are finished, click on save changes. Now what I would recommend if you have edited all the desktop is just quickly go into the mobile version, make sure it still looks good, and if it doesn't look good, like uh, this obviously doesn't look good, but I'd, this is for demonstration purposes, but let's just say this ebook is far too big, I'm not happy with it, what I can actually do is just make it a little bit smaller, and then if I go back, it still looks really good, right? So that's how you would do it. Okay, now if you want to preview your page, you can click on this little eye here, and what you will notice is when you're looking at something in the preview, it's going to have this yellow line up the top. But don't worry, if you're on the live page, it's not going to be there. Okay. So as you can see, it's all looking pretty good. Okay. Now, the last of all is the settings. Now, just before you finish the page, what you want to do is scroll down here on the settings and look for search engine optimization. You just want to rename your page. So I'm going to call this the YouTube ebook download description. You want to add some text in here. And this is going to be if you share it on places like Facebook, um, it's actually going to show up the first two lines as well as the image. This is where you want to put the image, okay? Now, as for tracking codes, if you have things like Google Analytics, if you have Facebook pixels, if you have any other type of pixel, right? Um, in the settings tab, once again, down the bottom is where you want to add them. Uh, depending on what code it is, is depending on where you would put it. Um, it should tell you once you actually collect your um, collect your code. And also the last thing you want to see is this affiliation tab, display an affiliate badge to earn lifetime commissions. That's basically this little tab here. If you don't want it to be on your pages, you can just uncheck it like so. If you do want to leave it, it just basically means if someone clicks on your uh, little tab there and they decide to take the trial and then decide to join, you're actually going to get compensated for it. So it's a very cool thing. Right, so that is the uh, that is how you can create a page. Now, I'll quickly show you how you can actually create a new page because I know a lot of people will want to actually create different variations of pages. In fact, one of the trainings which I did, which is the bridge funnel training, that's actually what I'll show you quickly how to do now. And basically, if we look at the opt-in thank you page, it's just a a basic sort of page where um, not really too much is happening it's, it's sort of like a dead end but if you want to create a uh, a bridge page basically you can bridge people into a different type of um, either product or service or avenue something like that this is where you would create the bridge page so what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do is just make a bridge page example okay and the type you want to choose is sales even though we're not selling anything it's completely fine just choose sales because it's got the video templates and press save so as you can see we have now video options inside of here which is what we want and to get rid of the thank you page you can actually click on the little delete button you can also drag and drop things around here too as you noticed on our first page we put in uh, once they once they 
fill out the form and click the button, they're going to get redirected to the next step. So if I wanted to keep the thank you page, but I wanted to go to the bridge page, I would just move it. So the next step is actually the bridge page. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but I'll delete this just to show what happens too. Okay. Very easy. Now for this particular example, I'm going to choose this one here. Um, I like this because it's a plain white background, not too much happening, which is what I like. Once again, you can change the um, the URL. So I'm going to call this an ebook bridge, right? And then I'm going to click on the save button. And then I'm going to click on the magic wand to actually edit it. Okay. Now, quick and easily it is loaded it's all very good what I would generally do in a bridge video is create a video upload it to YouTube and put it as unlisted or I would upload it to my video um, my video software sort of membership that I have and then what you can do if you want to change the video is come to the top here if it's YouTube you can simply paste in the URL if you want to put in your own video hosted video you can use custom embed and you can drop it in there and the same thing goes if you want to actually upload your own video to system they have their own video hosting platform so you can actually upload it here too so it's all very very easy to do um, once again if you want to change the margins things like that you can also do that and that's basically it what I would just generally do now is obviously change all the disclaimers all the text everything depending on what the uh, sort of end result I want to lead people to is but you want to gen uh, most of the time actually have a button here right and on the button you would want to redirect them to another url afterwards the bridge video is basically introducing this person to either um, another piece of training or introducing them to an offer you have um, or something like that and this is where you would put in the the link so let's just say it was for my facebook right uh, maybe i wanted to connect with them on facebook i could put in my facebook uh, url like so then i'll scroll down to the bottom and then um, I would change this bit here, typography, I'd change the button text, I'll just change it to connect with me on Facebook, okay? Real easy, I'd probably change the background color to like the Facebook blue, like so. So that looks pretty good, I'm not selling anything so I could actually delete these, right? Um, yep, like so, delete, delete, delete. I could actually delete this entire row, make it a little bit cleaner, okay? So that's done and that's basically it this is what i would do for a bridge video obviously I'd, i would change the text to something relative to the offer that i'm sending people to but once i click save changes and i click exit this entire funnel is ready once again the link that you want to be sending people to is the first part which is this one and if you wish to get a custom domain, you can add it in your profile slash settings. You can add in your domain. And then once you have actually added it, you will be able to select it here. So that is the funnel that's really easy to create. The last bit you want to do is actually create a campaign. Now this is only, only going to take a moment as well. Basically what you want to do is create a new campaign. These are some ones I've already created. This is going to be the YouTube ebook. Um, YouTube ebook campaign right you can add a description if you wish um, it's just for inside office purposes like there right once you've created it you want to click on YouTube ebook campaign or whatever your campaign is called and inside here you want to add an email so this email I'm going to be using is congratulations right here is your ebook and you want to have your sender email you want to have your name and basically in here what I would do is put hey and then I put in a variable choose their first name okay so it's gonna say if Bob put in his email and name it's gonna say hey Bob which is really cool it helps with conversions um, here is the ebook you requested right I know you're going to love it now just to let you know as well um, if you wanted to add a link so I'll maybe put it here here is the ebook um, you click on this little link button here and you can add in your um, you can add in the URL that you want to put. So I'm just going to put like uh, ebook, right? Whatever your whatever your link is, you put it in here. Um, I've actually got a full training on adding lead magnets inside of the course. Um, I won't get into it too deep here. But basically, once you've done that, like um, obviously you want to make it nice and long, things like that. On the right here, we've got our settings now. If you're sending this instantly, if you want it to be sent as soon as someone opts in, I usually change it to zero, okay? So zero hours after they uh, opt in, they're gonna get sent this email. 
and then that's basically all you really need to do you can save and send a test or you can just save it and it's basically good to go now the last thing we need to do is add in a automation and to do so since we have our campaign just to let you know as well if you wanted to add in multiple emails um, I can say hey let's connect say this is the second email I want to send out two days later hey um, Bob once again all right um, let's connect right whatever the email is doesn't matter this is just for training purposes what I would do is I would delay before sending email days and I would put two right and then I would click save now if I go back into the campaign as you can see the delay is zero minutes it's going to send this email and two days after that it's actually going to send this email and you can keep adding on emails this could be like a hundred day sequence this could be like a thousand day sequence whatever you want it to be very very powerful stuff right now just to let you know we still have one more step to do we've created the email we've created the funnel now we've just got to sync them together and it's really easy to do so all you need to do is come back to funnels you need to choose on the funnel that you've just created right click on it and on the automation rules make sure you're on the first part of it when it says here trigger action you want to click on this little plus because you can see the uh, the trigger is funnel step form subscribed so someone's put their name and email simply just go on to action click on the little plus and subscribe to campaign and you just want to choose the campaign you've just created and that is that click on save and you are 100 percent completed congratulations you have now completed your funnel what i suggest you do is actually click on the um go to the page right so um i would go to this particular page here easy way to do it is just copy and paste copy and paste like so okay now here is the squeeze page what i can do is put in my name and my email and it's going to take just a few moments and it'll arrive like we've set it up to go right so if it's all working it'll redirect me to this next page which it has if I scroll down it's at the bottom left you can see it's got my Facebook link so that's all working and about a minute's time I'm gonna get an email as well so that's it guys that is landing page uh, automation that is system.io tutorial for sales funnels fully set up hope you have enjoyed this video if you have make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and if you haven't yet got started with system.io I am giving away this entire course which teaches you what I did today plus so much more um, all in depth inside there so that's it guys hope you've enjoyed it I'll see you on the inside